Roadhog is one of a kind. It's a one of a kind asset. Nobody else in the world has one. We can go to a shipyard, a naval base, link up with ships. They can't tell the difference if we're a helicopter or the, what we are, which is a tractor trailer sitting pier side. We've been accepted as, uh, I want to say, a suitable replacement for live aircraft uh, for shipyard testing. And we're used to make sure that the ship, pier side in San Diego, Mayport, or Norfolk, is ready to do at sea events. Our Roadhawk allows us uh, a lot of time in port. Um, to train the crew and also to work uh, the equipment to make sure that it's ready to go for the at-sea events when the live aircraft comes out on station. You can only keep a helicopter in the air for so long, so having the truck there to support, we make sure that it's done until they say everything is working. They still schedule live aircraft, but by doing scenario rehearsal pier side to not only make sure that the equipment is ready, but also the sailors are ready, We've really enhanced the ability for a successful test. We can sit there 40 hours a week, 50 hours a week, whatever it takes, day, night, rain and shine through the weekends, and allow them time to get everything working. It's a good opportunity for Roadhawks to come out here and act like a helo, and it's a valuable training because we don't get to do it very often, but it is a very important part of sonar. We don't have like just tons of sonar buoys to drop all the time. We don't have helos just waiting for us to call them in. So being able to just bring a trailer and simulate everything that's happening saves a lot of time. We can actually do the training in port opposed to out at sea. We use the Roadhawk to save the aircraft flying time and the fuel, the pilots, maintenance on their aircraft. So that saves money on the ship side, the air side, and safety as well. It's greater confidence in the fact that you know when the, these systems do finally hit the fleet uh, you know that they're that much more proven uh, and that much more tested. It maximizes the time that you have available at sea with the ship underway and the aircraft on station. You're ready to go when you get out there. You don't waste time. There's no learning curve when you get on station out at sea.